formerly a Green Lantern and Hal Jordan's mentor, Sinestro once said that order came only through fear. When his tyrannical abuse of power was exposed, Sinestro was banished to the antimatter universe. There, he forged his yellow power ring, one that channeled not willpower, but fear. Now, leader of his own Lantern Corps, Sinestro seeks to bring his vision of order to the universe and vengeance upon all Green Lanterns. The Fearsome Tyrant is a blaster using will as a resource to terrorize and finish off weakened prey. His passive is Yellow Impurity. Sinestro's skills mark targets with Yellow Impurity. If a target is marked, Sinestro's core skills receive a powerful bonus effect. Use Saw Blade to hurl a Jagged Construct Blade, dealing power damage to the first target hit. If marked by Yellow Impurity, the target takes additional power damage equal to a percentage of their missing health. Reap enemies with Dread Scythe, dealing power damage to all targets in a wide cone. If marked by Yellow Impurity, enemies are also silenced. Use Cole the Weak to dash to a target location and deal power damage to all nearby enemies. When Sinestro kills an enemy champion, the cooldown on Cole the Weak is reset. If marked by Yellow Impurity, enemies are dealt additional power damage. Sinestro's ultimate is Fear Incarnate. As a skill shot, he launches Parallax, the living embodiment of fear. If Parallax hits an enemy champion, they're stunned and dealt power damage for the skill's duration. During this time, nearby enemies are feared away from the primary target and marked with yellow impurity. If no champion is struck, Parallax creates an area of effect that applies fear, deals power damage, and marks all enemies with yellow impurity. Because Sinestro has low health and high damage, victory will come from knowing who to engage, when to engage, and how to use his different skill combos. When playing in lane, Sawblade followed by Dread Scythe will silence your enemies and create safer trades. If starting a combo with Dread Scythe, you sacrifice the silence from Yellow Impurity for more damage with Sawblade or Cold the Weak. More specifically, Dread Scythe followed by Sawblade is good at securing a kill on low health targets. Keep in mind Sawblade's damage is capped when targeting drones. When possible, roam the map to ambush low health enemies or move to flank weak champions during teamfights. For instance, if two enemies are in lane and one has low health, ambush with Cole the Weak and quickly finish them with Sawblade. The kill will reset Cole the Weak's cooldown, allowing a timely escape or aggressive repositioning. If escaping, you can drop Fear Incarnate just beyond the enemy's vision around a corner. This way, Fear Incarnate will be waiting on the ground as your enemies round the corner and run straight into power damage and a fear. Immediately turn and unload an area of effect combo. If you secure a kill, use Cold Weak to escape, preferably over a wall. Use this tactic with caution, however, as sometimes it's best to save Fear Incarnate for teamfights. Sinestro benefits the most from artifacts that grant bonus power damage. Rushing Tier 2 of Dr. Destiny's Dreamstone helps your early lane presence by providing sustained will. Next, the power penetration from Cosmic Belt or Book of Eternity is often essential, as enemies will counter-build power armor. Neron's Contract is also very useful, as it provides great defensive stats and the Blood Bargain active skill, which suits Sinestro's skill set. Sinestro's Psychic Assault slows a target and shreds their attack and power armor. This allows you to single out and soften a target during surprise attacks or teamfights. Teach fools the meaning of fear as Sinestro, Tyrant of Korgoth.